The Federal Capital Territory Police have arrested 19 members of the proscribed Islamic movement of Nigeria. The Islamic group, popularly known as Shites, were arrested on Thursday, March 30, 2023, after a violent protest in Absiti. Josephine Ade, the public relations officer, disclosed this in the press statement released on Thursday. Ade said, police operatives successfully dispersed the displaced protesters, numbering over 400, on Thursday and brought the situation under control. During an unlawful protest, she accused the protesters of throwing stones, Molotov cocktails and other dangerous objects at the offices. Upon receiving distress calls from residents apprehensive of their safety, police operatives were swiftly deployed to the scene to support officers already on the ground monitoring the procession. And citing the reinforcement team, members of the IMN started. The unlawful procession was dispersed using minimal force, while 19 suspects were arrested and will be charged in court following due process of the law. The FCT command assures residents of its commitment to security, safety and peace within the capital territory, adding that no untoward incident was recorded as observation and monitoring continued. Ritz TV had earlier reported that operatives of the Nigerian police force deployed to the Federal Secretariat dispersed protesters organized by members of the Sheikh El Zagzaki group with a tear gas on Taurus Day. Traders and passerby at the Federal Secretariat, the Supreme Court, the Appeal Court, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Finance at Eagle Square were scampering for safety. The protesters were displaced by the ruling of the Federal High Court in Abuja on Thursday and stormed the streets to demand that President Muhammadu Buhari lift the travel ban on their leader, El Zagzaki. The court in Abuja had rejected the application filed by Sheikh Ibrahim or Zagzaki and his wife, asking that the Nigeria Immigration Service reissue them their international passports. The couple accused the Department of State Services of seizing and destroying their passports after raiding their house in 2015. They also accused NIS of refusing to reissue them another passport.